Welcome back. Today I want to take a comparison look at the regular grips that come on a Breda 92FS and I want to compare them to the thin full checker grips from Lock Grips. One thing I want to do is I want to get a uh, weight on them and I also want to do a thickness test because that's where these are supposed to shine because with these grips a lot of people say this feel, feels like a brick and this is supposed to thin them out. They're a lot thinner right through here and I'll show you that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and we'll get the measurements here first. All right, we're gonna weigh these real quick and I just don't wanna get a weight comparison on them. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put the bread ones on first and see how much they weigh together. And we can see those weigh 1.1 ounces. So let's go ahead and get these off of here and we're gonna try out the lock grips, thin grips. And wow, they actually weigh the same. I'm a little bit surprised by that, 1.1 ounces. So let's go ahead and get these on there and we'll do the measurement to see how thick they are. Okay, so now we're gonna measure the thickness of the Beretta grips. So we're just gonna take the mic here, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna put it right about there in the center. And let's just move it, make sure there ain't nothing else. And it looks like we're at 1.37. So let's go ahead and we'll throw the uh, lock grips on and we'll get a measurement on those. Okay, we're going to get the measurement on these grips. But from this camera angle, you can see exactly where lock grips thin these out. Because right here where the screws go in, those are the normal size. But right here, they thin them out. And that's right where you put your hand on them. So let's go ahead and get a measurement on that. Okay, as you can see, we're zeroed out. Let's go ahead and get our measurement here. And we're going to put them right about there, and that's where it thins it out. So as you can see, we're at 1.176. So that is a lot thinner than what the factory ones are. Another thing I'd like to add is, is anytime you change grips on the Beretta, pop the magazine in and check and make sure that it drops freely. Because the way the Beretta screws are designed, they actually go into the mag well. And if you get them too tight, they'll actually hit the magazine and won't let it drop freely. So I just wanted to let you guys know that to check that out anytime you change grips on your Beretta. Now with gripping these, I can definitely feel a heck of a difference. And the thing I like is, is because they left this the same size, it's almost like a little bit of a thumb rest. I really like that. So after putting these lock grips on, I really like the feel of them. I think these are going to be the grips that I actually leave on this gun. After I go out and shoot with them and get my shooting impressions of them, I'll verify that. But I really like the way they look on here too. That orange really pops with that black. So I'll leave a link down below to lock groups for y'all to go check them out. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, you're still watching. That means you watched all of my video. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate it. So now I want you to do me another favor. Go ahead and check the links out down below, because in the links down below, I got my Instagram. And on my Instagram, I post a lot of pictures that you don't see on here, sometimes of upcoming projects. Now, also, I've got my uh, Facebook page linked down there, Jesse B's Outdoor page. And on that link, you'll see all the same great stuff that you see on Instagram. But also, a lot of times, I'll put some deals on there for you to check out. So go ahead and check my Facebook page out for that. And another cool thing is I got links down there for these kind of shirts. So if you like cool Second A and Patriot shirts, go ahead and check out those links, and that will send you right to them. Well, that's all I got for today, and I'll see you all on the next one. <music>